Is this him? Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Holmes. Ah, bravo, then. You are? Uh, Gedgrave, uh, John Gedgrave. Holmes. This way. Recognised him as soon as I see the newspaper. That's him, all right. How did you come to be acting for him? Advert. Gentleman of discretion required, with knowledge of doc etiquette. Doc etiquette? For knowing your way round the poppy houses. Opium. Well, I knew one or two of the uh, better places. Was the advertisement placed by Savage? No. Who then? <laughs> I don't know. Mr. Gatecrave, you wouldn't lie to me, would you? No, no. It, it was some fellow I met in a rented office. Describe him for me. Well, I, I can't. Well, what I mean is, I never saw the fella. He, he didn't mean me to. He kept a, a light shining in my eyes all the time. Indeed. When was this? The 14th. He paid all right. Told me I was to be contacted. And I was. To meet him. What happened to him? I don't want any trouble. That's why I come to you. Where did you take him? Uh, house in Duke's Alley. It's a good place. Good? Well, oh, never had any problems there. Good place. What happened to him? Holmes! I'm oh, sorry. I didn't... Thank you, Mr. Gedgrave, for your trouble. Any time, Mr. Holmes, any time. Oh, generous. That is, sir. Uh, generous. I will need a guide. In Rotherhive. You want the best places. I'm your man. Look no further. Tomorrow morning. 10.30. Done. The, uh, the Red Slipper Club. Ask for, uh, Carter. Frank Carter. Will that be you, Mr. Gedrave? <laughs> Mrs. Hudson? Dr. Watson may be staying for dinner. Now, Watson. Calverton Smith means to throw Mrs. Savage and her children out of Summerley House. How is he able to do that? The house is entailed to him, an old will which has never been revised. Well, that is interesting. You know what this means? It means that Carlton Smith had a motive for doing away with his cousin. Savage is dead, killed by a disease in which Culverton Smith was the acknowledged expert. No, 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 no. Are you deliberately trying to misunderstand me? You have pointed out a remarkable coincidence, that is all. But... No inferences can be drawn we from it. We cannot allow Mrs. Savage to be thrown into the street by this fellow. We may have to. Been Calverton Smith who rented the office. I dare say, but it proves nothing. Well, there must be a way of stopping him, Holmes, surely. Well, I doubt it more and more. Suppose you were convinced of his guilt. What would you do then? You know my methods, I would gain entry to the house. Then that's what I shall do. You don't have to come. Nevertheless, I shall. You've already had your head turned. I must make sure you don't get your neck broken as well. Once poor Savage had been convinced that opium would open the door to the, the mysteries of the poetic craft, Calverton Smith would have had him in his power, wouldn't he? He traded on Savage's sense of guilt. He knew that Savage would want to continue experimenting with the drug far away from Summerlee. What you have to face, Watson, is that Savage is Catching the disease in Rotherhithe is entirely plausible. The coincidence that Smith's expertise in the matter is exactly that. A coincidence. You can't hang a man on coincidence. Ma, 
Mom? Mom? We have reason to believe that, um, well, as a matter of fact, you are trespassing. Sergeant, I'm sure you're as aware as I am that the laws of trespass in this country are most curious, not to say odd. I should know. I have responsibility for hundreds of acres which are about to be stolen from me through legal trickery by that man. A man who preyed on my husband like some bloated parasite, corrupted him and drove him to his death. But now, now he will not speak to the woman he has widowed. He won't. He knows he has no justice on his side. Merely cold legality. Benson, Mrs. Savage should now return to Summerley House. Yes, sir. <gasps> Ma'am, you have my assurance. I will pursue Carlton Smith. I will not rest until he's renounced his plans to ruin you. And Mr. Holmes. I see. I do not blame him. He only sees it as the world sees it. Unfortunate and cold-hearted on Mr. Smith's part, perhaps. But no case to answer. No case to answer. Smith! Smith! Oh! It is a singular coincidence, is it not, that you should inherit so much from the man who dies of a disease upon which you are the sole expert? Well! Coincidence bordering upon the unbelievable! Let me tell you, the doors of your profession, which have been closed to you, will now be locked and bolted against you. It is my mission. Mr. Holmes. You're a decent tobacco. Telemark Arlyle. I know you will be sensible enough not to come to rely on this, but it will help you through these difficult days. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor, you must come quickly. It's Mr. Holmes. Oh, Mr. Holmes. Yes. Why didn't you call me sooner? But he wouldn't give me leave. So I said permission or no, I am. And, and he said... Well, let him be what's there. Oh, Doctor, I think he's dying. No, no, no Mrs. Hudson, I, I'm sure it's not as bad as you fear. But he won't let me live. He hasn't eaten a scrap. He has had plenty to drink, no, I, I trust. Not, not a drop has passed his lips these three days, and he's been to Rotherhithe. He thinks he caught the fever there. Oh, he's dying, Doctor. <laughs> Holmes. 
suppose. Mm. Was and we have fallen upon bad times. My dear fellow, stop that, please stand right back. I'll have you thrown out of the house. I only wish to help. The best thing you can do to help is to do as you're told. But of course. You're wrong. What about Carleton Smith? We may not like the man, but he's no murderer. The river fever is abroad in rather high. Holmes, we must get you to hospital at once. Can I give you this? Please. Don't you see this thing is contagious? Do you think such a consideration weighs with me? Keep your distance. This could run through London. And, uh, well, if there are bivalves, presumably there are monovalves. Tramps. Holmes. Well, if I'm to have a doctor, at least let me have someone in whom I have confidence. You have none in me. Your friendship, yes, but I mean, you're only a general practitioner with mediocre qualifications. That remark is unworthy of you, Holmes. It shows me very clearly the state of your nerves. I demonstrate your ignorance. What do you know that Tapanuli fever? What do you know that black formation corruption? I have never heard of either. There are strange pathological disorders in the East. If you have no faith in me, let me fetch Jasper Meek. Penrose Fish Ain't chair here is in London. Let me fetch him. Well, there is only one man who can help me. The man we have maligned. Harverton Smith, do you believe he would help? He must. It is my only chance. Oysters. They do breed, don't they? I cannot think, but the whole bed of the ocean is one solid mass of oysters. Holmes, can you hear me? I'm going for Culverton Smith this instant. Then go. I'm to bring him back here with me. Oh, he is the emperor of river fevers. Of course, you must persuade him, but you must return alone. <laughs> Any excuse not to come with him? Don't my apologize. I do. Don't fail me, Watson. Of course not. And what of rivers? Are there no natural enemies to limit the increase of these creatures? It's horrible. Horrible. 